away from the Antica Pizzeria da Michele, there is another ancient pizzeria called Ciro al Triano, that just a few meters, and as well uh, makes a really traditional Napolitan pizza, the same style like Ruota di Carretto or Cartwheel. Let's go to see. in Trianon we can find an old style uh, Napolitan pizza. So as you can see here it's the famous uh, Ruota di Carretto or a cartwheel. So as you can see you can go to the side outside the plate. Uh, in this case we took like four pizza, the margarita, the salsiccia and ferelli, as you saw as well in the market like sausage and a Napolitan ferelli. A classic uh, capricciosa pizza that we have uh, here. Uh, the real capriccios actually is made with a few ham, uh, mushrooms, black olives, and as well the classic ingredients of a margarita. And then we have here a classic calzone, that uh, as well it's called ripieno. So ripieno means actually filled. And we can have two versions, uh, the fried and as well baked. The filling, usually it's like ricotta cheese, ham, and you can find as well like uh, a salami, I usually find like a Napolitan salami or some kind as well spicy, but the spicy isn't too traditional. And uh, usually it's folded and as well you can find a little bit of tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. And all the important details about capricciosa is the ingredients artichokes. So sometimes the pizzeria they use, another pizzeria not. But the traditional one is with the artichokes. What is really important as well, actually, are the black olives. So if you would like to eat a good pizza, and if you would like to understand which one is of good quality, you should eat with a no pitted uh, olives. Actually, why? Because when you pit the olives, so it's without the, the center seeds, so actually they will lose all the flavor in, a, in the brine. So actually we lose all the flavor, the tasty, so if you can use as well a tom in your pizza, so use with the, with the seeds and you will find the best results. Also it's really important to know that salsiccia and ferelli is called a pizza bianca, so we have always without tomato sauce. So it's only cheese, ferelli and sausage, so without tomato.